We're going to discuss behavior of polynomials, specifically what happens when we have a repeated root. So using your calculator, graph the following functions and compare the graphs. And specifically, what do you notice about the behavior of the graphs at the zeros for m and n? When you're ready to continue, click the button. So here are graphs of the two functions. You should see these in your graphing calculator. And let's notice what's going on at this point. m of x has a 0 at 0 and at 3. Now at 0, notice what happens. It hits the x-axis, but it doesn't go through the x-axis. That's what's going to happen when we have an even multiplicity, or a root that's repeated an even number of times. Now, if we look at what's happening at 3, we see that it's going straight through. Now let's take a look at n of x. Notice with n of x, at 3, where we have an odd multiplicity, it's actually repeated three times, it does go through, but it actually flattens out. This is what we'll expect to see when we have an odd multiplicity. So summarizing, when a polynomial has a repeated linear factor, it has what we call a multiple root. If it's repeated an even number of times, the graph does not cross the x-axis. It actually bounces off. Note when this happens, the concavity does not change at x equals k. It has the same concavity. If it's repeated an odd number of times, we expect it to go through the x-axis, but it does flatten out. And the more it's repeated, the more flat it gets. In this case, it does change concavity, so we'll have an inflection point when we have an odd multiplicity.